Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Uh, this is the biggest boiler I've ever serviced. Okay, so Derek and I are currently at a job and it's a big commercial property. It's apartments and very old boiler. But, uh, you see some old signs. National Air Oil Burner Co. Oil burning equipment, Philadelphia. But um, this is how they control the zones. So each zone is a, a hallway throughout the building. It's a multi, it's an apartment building. Uh, but it's cool, that was added after the fact. They didn't have that initially. And I'll show you what the inside looks like. So here's that boiler. And we got, it's gas fired, 2 million BTUs. And I already opened this up, I just closed it for the video. But at one point this was coal. And that was the coal, uh, that's where they stored the coal. And they'd shovel it all in, into here. And then it went uh, to oil, and then now it's gas. But we're gonna be cleaning out all these baffles here. Got this conduit falling over, you both hands. But surprisingly for 30, possibly more years since the last cleaning, it's not bad. I think maybe it's been cleaned more recently than that. And we got our big flu here. I don't know what that is, 36 inches or something crazy. And here's the inside of that flu collector. So we got the soot back, the brushes, suits. I don't know if we'll need the suits and everything. Uh, Cause it's, it's not too bad, but uh, we're gonna get to cleaning and see uh, how it goes. Okay, so I just vacuumed the larger bits of debris from the bottom here with the uh, regular Milwaukee vacuum. And now, got this soot vac ready. We'll go in all of these burners, or not burners, but uh, like baffles. I'm gonna just put it all the way back there as far as I can reach this way. 
and try to brush it in to our vacuum. That will hook up, but that'll be hard to record. So I'll see if I can set my phone up somewhere. Why did you want to open that manual? So we could get into the back. Um, at this point, my arms were already getting super tired, so, um, me and Derek switched back and forth a few times, um, and that was that. Most of this video is just me scrubbing a boiler, nothing too exciting. And here's the other side of that boiler from the flue. You could see the hose from the soot vac easily reached all the way to the end for all the baffles. So that uh, saved a lot of work. Otherwise, we would have had to come in from the other side, which is not, not going to be easy. But uh, you could see Derek's head poking through there. But... After this, I'm about to start vacuuming out the flu and the um, flu collector. And this was hard to do uh, one-handed. I kind of needed both hands because it's a tight spot and there's uh, the rough edges on the sheet metal. But the camera doesn't really pick it up well. There was a good maybe inch or so inch and a half towards the center of the flue here of dust buildup uh, and then as it got deeper there was definitely significantly more but then in the um baffles like in this shot here and in that um that little section just below the baffles where i vacuumed at first there was a pretty significant amount of buildup that i didn't really it's hard to pick up on it first. Okay, so the tubes are all cleaned out. Now we'll clean out inside of here and clean up the mess around here. Let's see, we'll 
and clean out the rest of this. And this stayed fairly clean. We'll hit it again. The final pass, I blew all the soot and debris through the tubes out to here. So we got some buildup there. So you could see in that flue there, uh, right now I'm in the boiler, but in that clip before, you could see there was buildup again in the flue after I had cleaned it uh, from blowing it out in the other direction. So we made multiple passes, vacuuming and brushing. And then I decided to blow out through the other direction. And that's how much more debris there was inside the burners that wasn't initially picked up. So uh, I was surprised to see that. I didn't think that there was that much left in them after we had scrubbed them and vacuumed, vacuumed them out for a significant amount of time. I, we were here almost, I want to say three hours at this point. So... This was definitely a good amount of work. Uh, inside the boiler was super, super hot. Uh, way worse than any attic that I've ever been, ever been in. I had to get out a few times to take a break and just stick my head out to breathe. After I got out for one of the breaks, I uh, asked Derek to record me going in. I thought that might be good footage, which was actually a little bit tricky because all those fire bricks on the inside are all loose. Um, so it's you're trying not to oh, knock so them all over shit. and break them all while you're trying to get in, but it was fun. Nah, bro. with this part of it all done uh cleaned out inside. i didn't go crazy because some of that used to be brick that kind of just disintegrated so uh just neatened it up we'll clean uh this area but we're starting to try to take stuff out get it out of the way got a lot of dust on the floor so the only reason that there was dust all over the place there's my cat uh, it was because somebody, and I won't say who, didn't put the shop vac filter in the right way. So all the dust that I was sucking in, the vacuum was blowing right out, which I couldn't see. And it coated pretty much everything in the room, which was a pain. Thankfully, it was just a boiler room, so there wasn't anything major in there. But that added like 30 minutes extra time to the cleanup, which was a little bit frustrating. But it is what it is. It happens. Uh, so keep the floor clear, that way we can clean it up after. And then I still have to get this area done. So I cleaned that before we started, but then uh, I changed the direction the vacuum was blowing and it blew a fair amount in. So yeah, there's a abandoned old Aerosmith water heater. This is the current water heater that they're using. It's piped into this lock and bar. But, uh, trying to wrap it up so we can get out and on to the next job. So the unit's running now and we're doing our combustion test to make sure that it's burning safely. Right in the flue. So uh, we finished up with uh, everything. I only recorded that, but I had a few other jobs today. Um, biggest boiler I've ever cleaned. Um, but it was fun. It was pretty easy. The only thing that stunk was um, part of the agreement, which they signed up for a contract with us. Part of the agreement is that the boiler will be off 12 hours before we come to clean it. They shut it off 30 minutes before I came, so it was at temperature when I got there. Uh, and it only cooled down so much from when I opened the doors up to when I actually started doing the work. So it was uh, rough being inside while it was 
scorching hot and then I didn't put two and two together but when I was shoveling out the debris from the combustion chamber I uh, was shoveling it into a contractor bag that I brought into the combustion chamber and that stuff was so hot that it just burned right through the um, contractor bag so then I had to reshovel it all back into a bucket which it actually started melting the bottom of the bucket out slowly so I put it into a different bucket but um yeah hopefully you enjoyed watching the video comment any advice or criticisms or feedback in the comment section and subscribe thanks for watching